I've been so lucky to attend brand new theme parks and ride brand new roller coasters at media events, but Penguin Trek, the newest roller coaster in America, this was an experience like no other. It, it all started like this. Penguin Trek media check in. Dude, this is so sick. Today something very, very special is happening, but I'm caught in a sea of people. I mean, there are so many people around here. Let's let's get to a more let's get to a more private spot, and I'll tell you what's going on. I've never seen it like with guests all around us. I have never been to a media event where they don't close off the area that the media event is in. Even though the entrance plaza is crowded, we're getting a very, very exclusive look at SeaWorld's brand new roller coaster. This is awesome because I have been following the construction of this ride from when track showed up in the back lot to when we got invited onto the construction site, and now this ride is finally ready to be ridden, and I get to be the test dummy. This is so cool. But first, we gotta get out of the Florida sun and into this nice, air-conditioned room. So, so much better. We are in the queue line for this brand new roller coaster. See, this is SeaWorld's eighth roller coaster, the newest one, it's called Penguin Trek. It's themed to penguins, as you can clearly see. Even though they didn't represent, my favorite penguin is the rock hopper penguin. This guy right here, love those penguins. They have the cool eyebrows and everything, I love it. But all jokes aside, this ride is something I've been so, so excited for. It's a brand new family roller coaster here at SeaWorld. It has launches and indoor scenes, and I'm really excited for the indoor scenes because it's like 90 degrees here in Florida, and what? No, I was looking at the fridge. And so to keep up with the theme of cold things like the Arctic and other cold things like penguins, we have a refrigerator. It's cool. The story is we're researchers going to look for penguins. At least I think. But I've never seen a snowmobile like that. So I have a couple things I really, really, really want to do while I'm here. First of all, I really want to ride the roller coaster, but we're doing that like right now. I have to explore the area after this because there have been so many changes to this small area in SeaWorld that's, uh, that's themed to Antarctica that I gotta check that out. And I really want to film a cinematic short film of the ride for TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff. Dude, I don't have my tripod on me. Are you serious? Yeah. You do this every time. I know. Uh, scratch that. I also really want to see penguins. Dude, I'm so stoked for this. This is gonna be so Dude, cool. so honestly, I have no idea what to expect coming onto this ride. I think I'm gonna be surprised with the, the launches. I think they'll yeah. be a little bit more fun because it's like inclined launches, yeah. you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, so this ride features two launches. Which I'm kind of interested to see what it's like because it is a family coaster, so it's not supposed to be the biggest, craziest thrill, but it also looks a lot bigger than most of the kiddie coasters that you see being built. Oh, check it out, here comes the train. Sick. Let's go! Woo. Oh Woo. My God. There's penguins! Look at the penguins! That's so cool! Whoa! Whoa! Are we gonna watch? Whoa. I was not expecting that. It doesn't feel like a kiddie ride, and that's what I love it. The launches actually pack a little bit of a punch, which is good, but not too much to make it scary. It's just all around fun. Yeah, that was great. Okay, okay, that was so much, dude. 
There's penguins right here. Everything about this ride is executed so well, and the reveal of the penguins at the end is awesome. You get off the ride, and there's penguins right here, right in front of you. You get this awesome glass to yourself, which is great. Let's be honest, the penguin viewing area, if you've been, it was always crowded, cold, and a little smelly. But now you get it behind this super clear glass. And the penguins are right here. So that checks seeing penguins off the list. Let's go check out the surrounding area. And then you get spit out into the existing penguin encounter. You know, the one we just saw behind glass, but now I'm actually in here. And uh, a t-shirt and shorts might have been a, a bad clothing choice. I'm kind of cold. I got this cool little like water drinking thing with a penguin trek on it. I don't know what these are called. Let me know in the comments. So normally I try and find a spot to talk about what I just experienced, tell you guys, you know? I can't think of a cooler spot than right here with my penguin friends. It might be a little loud though. <laughs> Let's start with the theming because this ride blew it out of the water with the theme. The theming is like something we've never seen before here at SeaWorld. To the actual station itself being a Antarctic research station, to the trains being snowmobiles. Am I on your way? Not really. Okay. Should I, should I move my spot? I don't want to disrupt. Oh. As long as you're okay with me talking about penguin track and being in the shot. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, we have a friend. And then the actual ride itself, when you go through the pre-show, you see all the, the Antarctic caves and the, the flashing lights and the rocks falling. And you see the penguins. It tells that story of you going through the penguin cave, finally launching out once the cave collapses on you, which is like so much fun. I don't want to bother these guys who are doing like real work, so I'm just gonna move somewhere else. If you're a thrill seeker, don't come into Penguin Trek looking for extreme thrills, because that's not what you're gonna find, and that's not what this ride is made for. But if you're a younger kid looking to experience one of your first roller coasters, this is kind of perfect for that. When I was younger, I used to be deathly terrified of roller coasters. I think Penguin Trek is the perfect stepping stone from the kiddie coasters that you see copy and pasted throughout parks, to this mid-tier family thrill ride. Well, the launches are punchy, but not to the point where they're scary. And it goes fast, but not to the point where you have tears coming out of your eyes. And it'll be perfect to set up the younger thrill seekers for the bigger rides in this park. And then if they didn't like it, everyone likes penguins, right? <laughs> Lastly, I want to talk about what this means for SeaWorld. SeaWorld has desperately been needing a family thrill ride. They tried with Icebreaker two years ago, and that ride came out to be way more intense than we expected. It's awesome, but it's not perfect for that young thrill seeker just getting into ride. And it can easily scare a young kid and prevent them from riding more things, which is what we want to avoid here. And then back to something like the theming, this is huge for SeaWorld. I'm actually really, really, really proud of SeaWorld because they did such a great job with how this ride works looks, how the area around it looks, and how the whole experience feels. It's so great and it's such a big step for SeaWorld when they've gotten so much criticism in the past for making rides that are just completely unthemed. Dang. That, that's what I sounded like on Penguin Track. And the coolest thing is it looks like they're filming a commercial. Let's ask about this. Are you guys filming a commercial? That is so sick. <laughs> that's some legit camera gear. And it makes my setup look really, really, really dorky. Okay, so this is the brand new gift shop. This, this spot is so cool. This is just one of the many, many new spots here in the Antarctica area. Here, check this out, let's go. They kept the other gift shop that was here previously, and it looks good as new in here. I mean, I love it. It's so, so great. Plus, these spots are also nice because in these hot Florida days, you need to come in here just for the air conditioning alone. And then they totally revamped the food area here. I mean, they added the South Pole Sips and then they redid the Expedition Cafe. And so if you want to get a bite after riding Penguin Trek, this is the place to go. Oh, my camera was falling. Dude, and the super cool thing about these events, this guy right here, he just asked me if I could be in a testimony. So I get to speak about this ride and they're going to post it on their Instagram, on the social medias. It's like such an awesome experience. I can't believe they trust me to speak on the ride. All right, tell me what you thought. Dude, this ride is perfect. I love it so much. My favorite part was launching right out of that cave. And the penguins were my favorite. They were so cute. I just, I wanted to squish them. Like, I wanted to squish their little penguin faces. <laughs> I don't know, I love penguins. 